Hello there, this is John V, software evangelist at Jscape and I'm back for another video tutorial. You can treat this as a continuation of that video we posted last week entitled How to Pull Files Automatically from a Remote Linux Host with No File Transfer Service. If you haven't watched that yet, then I suggest you do that now so you can get the right context and understand what I mean by an agent, what I mean by an account, what I mean by a synchronization, and so on. I'll provide a link to that video in the post, or if you're watching this on YouTube, then you can find it in the description. So in that video, you learned how to set up a synchronization to pull files from a remote Linux host. This time, we're going to set up a synchronization to do the reverse. That is, to push files to a remote Linux host. This can come in handy in cases where you want to send out files to one or more branches, if you're on a chain of stores, or maybe to your satellite offices, and so on. We've provided some sample use cases in the video, what is MFT Synchronizer? So I suggest you watch that as well. So let's now log in to MFT Synchronizer, and let's make sure our agent service is running and that an agent is connecting to it. We also need to check if we have an account pointing to that agent. So since we already have those, let's now go to our synchronizations module and create another synchronization. If you watched the previous video, you should be able to recognize the synchronization we created there. That's the synchronization we configured to pull files from a remote host. So let's now create our new synchronization. Let's just click add. Let's give this synchronization a name. Say push files 01. Note that you can have many of these. So maybe you can have push files 01 for one host, a synchronization named push files 02 for another host, and so on. Of course, those other hosts should also have agents running on them if they don't have a file transfer service and each of those agents must have corresponding accounts on MFT Synchronizer. Now, since we'll be pushing files from the host that's running MFT Synchronizer, that's going to be our source. And so account A should be unchecked. And we need to specify an absolute path. And then for account B, which is our destination and because that destination happens to be the host running our agent so we need to check this and specify a relative path because we're not going to be pushing files to a subdirectory under our agents root path let's just use the forward slash here and let's just leave this to the default settings and let's just hop over to the schedule panel for this example, let's just have this synchronization run once at around 1 p.m. So let's just change this to that and then click Add Start. Now we wait. So when we come back, these files will be copied to this remote directory. Okay, it's time to check our synchronization. Let's go to the recent tab. All right, there it is. And if we go to our Linux host, our files are right there. That's it. Now you know how to push files automatically to a remote Linux host with no file transfer service using MFT Synchronizer.